Hey guys, this is Anna. I'm a recruiter for Bevel State on the Jasper campus. And today we're going to go over something that we've gotten a lot of questions about in student services, the bookstore, and how to get your textbooks, how to use your financial aid or your scholarships, um, stuff like that. So we've already done a video regarding how to add classes in one ACCS. So I'm going to start this video from the assumption that you're already in a class um, you were looking at it, you clicked on the little blue CRN, and this is what it will take you to, the sections found page. So as you can see, we're just in an English Comp 1 class, and if you go right down here, there's a link that says Bookstore. So we're going to click on that, and we'll click on this, and this is going to take you to our online bookstore. We used to have an in-person bookstore on campus. Um, we transitioned a couple years ago um, to an online version. Um, and we still have things like pop-up stores on our campuses. Um, obviously, due to COVID for the fall, we haven't gotten to do that, but those, of course, will be an option in the future. But for now, we're just going to focus on the um, online aspect. And there's a lot going on. <laughs> There's a lot of things here um, that obviously you can buy that are outside of textbooks, but today we're just going to focus on getting your textbooks. So when you're coming to this home page, you're going to go up to this little link that says textbooks. We're going to click it, and this part's pretty neat. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to go down here. It should already have Bevel State and Fall 20, but you just want to check those to make sure. Um, you're going to come down here, I'm actually going to clear that out, and you're going to select your department. So if you'll remember, we were in English class, select English, it was a 101, and the section is something that we get questions about a lot. Um, all of our classes are going to have kind of similar texts for a specific course. These are basically just to delineate the different um, classes with different instructors, in your specific one. So if you'll remember back here, our CRN was 185 for this particular English class. So we're going to go over here, select 185, and in theory if you have all of your um, courses in front of you, you can just you know go through and add each of them in one swoop, get all of that together, but for today we're just going to focus on this one just so I can show you guys a little bit easier. So once you have your class, you're going to click Find Material. And that is going to take you to the page for this English 101 class. Um, as you can note, two required texts. These are going to be Students Book of College English and Little Seagull Handbook with Exercises. So what you're going to do is um, you can either rent them or buy them. One thing about renting, um, I think the website tells you this, but if you need like a CD or something with a text, sometimes they rent when you rent used um, or you buy used, it does not come with the CD. Just something to keep in mind. Um, but for this, we'll just go ahead and use, let's just buy them new. Okay, so you're going to click those. This will pop up will come up, add two items to your bag. and view bag and checkout. Now this is something that's important. Um, financial aid and scholarship is accepted. So what that means is you're going to be able to use your financial aid and scholarship money directly from your account. Instead of waiting for a check from financial aid and using that to buy your textbooks, you can actually just buy them directly because our bookstore and 1ACCS is actually linked together. So we're going to view bag and checkout. So basically this is just one more chance, you know, just in case you want to edit this, delete something. If not, if you're good to go, you can just click on check out. And sometimes it'll pop up with something about textbook substitutions. Normally, hopefully, there won't be um, too many of these that have to have substitutions. My guess is maybe ours is listed as an older version and they're supplying kind of the newest version of it. Um, I would just go ahead and click yes it's the recommended one, just keep it like that, and proceed. 
Okay, and then this is where you're going to sign in. My email address and password. Okay, we're gonna sign in. Okay, once you're signed in, it's gonna take you to this page where you can decide uh, the delivery method. So for pickup, we do have an office uh, for the bookstore. It's actually located on the Summerton campus. So you can opt into that or you can have it shipped to your address. I'm actually just going to use the pickup version, Summerton Campus Store. They'll send you an email, tracking information and stuff like that, which is super helpful. Um, this is a gift, no. Special instructions, no. And then you're going to proceed to your payment method. Okay, so on your payment method, this is an important part. Um, Promo codes are going to be something like, if you remember on the home page, I think the um, website itself has a little promo code going on right now for fall. Um, feel free to use that, of course, if it's timed by your textbook and they have one of those. Otherwise, don't worry about that. Um, the really important thing here is going to be, if you have financial aid or a scholarship, to click this option. What you're going to do then is just put your A number in right here. I don't have a student ID number, but just imagine I do. And once you do that, you're going to go find account and it should find your name. It should already be linked to everything and you'll just accept that. And then it will be linked up to your one ACCS account and thus your financial aid or your scholarships. So it'll be deducting from those instead of your debit card or another payment method. Or if you don't have financial aid and scholarships and you don't want to use those, don't worry about it. You can just come down here to the credit debit card. Enter in your info and place order. And then I'm also going to show you guys something that we have questions about as well. Um, specifically for our career tech classes, you're going to have um, items that are necessary for your class that are not just textbooks. And in the past, we have had where um, students can actually go to a store um, use their scholarship or their financial aid to um, purchase those things like let's say for welding and you need um, a welding helmet or something or like a toolkit. Um, in the past you could go to the store to do that but since we moved to this you're actually going to be able to get those materials online and um, what you're going to do is essentially the same exact thing. We're going to go to textbooks and then we're going to change this to welding just as a example, let's just do 108 and the CRM. Find materials. Okay, so there's going to be two required course materials. Your first one is going to be a shielded metal arc welding basic, and it is not listed as a text, but that is what you're going to be needing to get. You'll click buy. Down here is something that we've had um, several questions about. So when you see these things that say Cengage, these are basically options that are provided by the website to use as a kind of subscription service for if you have like a text or something um, that you want to access for more than a semester or something. Um, this would be where you would get that. Um, to be honest, most of these are not going to be necessary. These are kind of their own thing. They're kind of basically like a subscription service, not the actual text, if that makes sense. Um, there's nothing that you're ever going to need for 24 months um, or like four months. And if you'll notice up here, it is required. This is choose only one of seven. So out of all these, since these are all Cengage, the one that you're going to want to get is this. I know that's kind of confusing. Um, it's just an aspect of the website, which can be beneficial if you need it, but it does kind of, you know, cloud what you're looking at when you're supposed to only get two things and there's seven options. So basically, just make sure you always go with the one that's not Cengage unless specifically um, designated by your instructor. Then you can just click on that and do the same thing, rent or use. And... One last thing, since I just have a few minutes, 
There's something neat on here as well. We actually have clothing and accessories for Bevel, which is really neat. Um, I'm a huge fan of the sweatshirts. You can pull these up. Love that one. Love that one. I don't believe you can use your financial aid and stuff for these, but if you're looking for something to wear around town, kind of just show your, um, show your colors, then, you know, you have options here. So, I hope that was helpful. Um, I know there's been kind of some confusion around this. Uh, we will do some more of these kind of in the future if there's any sort of changes. Um, but yeah, hopefully that kind of cleared some stuff up for you guys. We'll have information about where the exact location and um, the address and stuff for our uh, on-campus office where the bookstore is. Um, and thanks so much for your time. Bye. Hi, I'm Hannah Alsop, president of the Jasper Campus Ambassadors. We're looking forward to meeting all new and current students. While we currently can't meet at this time, we do have some virtual options available. We have six upcoming virtual sessions available. You can learn about financial aid, admissions, and programs of study. Plus, you can actually ask questions live with a recruiter. The next virtual information session is Thursday, October 15th at 3 p.m. But we have set the sessions with your busy schedule in mind, so there is one that fits your schedule. You will need to register for the sessions at www.bscc.edu. We can't wait for you to join us this spring.